Welcome back. The list of professional athletes from Great Falls is short. Names like Josh Hustis, Dave Dickinson, and Patrick Dwyer come to mind. But there was one recent signing you might not have heard of. And if Celeste Brown has her way, you'll know her name and the league she plays in sooner rather than later. Tom Wiley explains. Great Falls native Celeste Brown was bitten by the hockey bug at a very early age. The story I tell most is, you know, I got a pair of rollerblades for my fifth birthday and I just remember my dad asking me if I wanted to play. Hockey takes you to places where you, you know, wouldn't have gone without it, so that's probably the most memorable thing to me. Indeed, the sport has led Brown through many twists and she left her home in Great Falls at age 16 to chase her dream of playing college hockey. Celeste Brown on the setup from Courtney Kunachika. She won a national championship in her freshman year at the Rochester Institute of Technology. And most recently, she became the first female hockey player from Montana to sign a professional contract. For me, I personally dedicated my life a lot to this, so to just stop, you know, it's it pretty a scary thought in my mind. I was like, okay, this is the next step and this is what I want to do. Brown signed with the New York Riveters of the newly formed National Women's Hockey League in June, but what's more impressive is how she earned her contract. The NWHL consists of four teams in the northeast part of the United States. Each held an open tryout and Brown went to all four of them, even making an eight-hour round trip from Boston to Long Island twice in one weekend. Uh, one of the tryouts, I remember, I was like, I'm mentally drained. But, and one of my sisters said, you know, you can do anything for 48 hours. So <laughs> I kept that in mind, and, you know, by the end of the weekend, I made it through. So, Growing up in Great Falls, opportunities to play hockey were few and far between. In fact, when Celeste visits her hometown in the summer, there's no ice to skate on, so she trains in the pool. But that never stopped her from achieving her dream, and she hopes it won't stop any other future hockey players from chasing theirs. I'm just happy that, you know, I can help pave the way for future kids, future young girls that want to keep playing. That's overall the main goal. I think that's the main goal for every player in the league or every female player that keeps playing. Tom Wiley, MTN Sports.